larger on the Richter scale will be number two Purdue hosting Minnesota tonight. Look at that line, 16 and a half for the Boilermakers at Mackey Arena tonight. 147 and a half is the total. Let's begin the discussion, Jeff Nadu, with you. Thoughts about Purdue in a midweek situation here with the Gophers at home? Yeah, it's numbers ridiculous. It's ridiculous. Listen, guys, it's kind of become vocal now that everyone kind of knows about Minnesota, but there's still a lot of people that don't. I mean, Minnesota is the best offensive, or not the best offensive, the best ATS team in the country, and it's not close. This team's covered almost 90% of their games through 23 games. That's unbelievable. I don't know that I've seen that good of an ATS number in a long time. Um, they're just a lead against the number, okay? It doesn't matter who they're playing, what the situation is. They're getting the job done. Look, we all know Purdue's good. I get that. I'm not going to say they aren't. One of the best teams in the country. But th- these numbers are hard for me to avoid. Uh, Minnesota's covered 10 of 12 getting points this season. Um, wow. I do want to hear, though, I, from what I heard, I, I could be wrong here. Dawson Garcia, I, I've heard rumblings that maybe he's not going to play. I, I got to look more into that here. And maybe um, that's he's, part of it, right? Maybe that's yeah. part of why the line's that big? Yeah, or it's just, I mean, look, Pitt's kind of, or Pitt, uh, Purdue's kind of beaten them up the last couple of years. You know, that could be a reason. But I think the problem we have here is, And this is the issue now with, like, such vocalized people on Twitter and stuff is, you know, stuff like last night with Detroit Mercy, if they weren't winless, we would have never heard about that game. So I think sometimes these kind of things that we kind of know about kind of get exploited, like Minnesota being so good against the number. And watch tonight, Minnesota will get all the money and they'll get beat by 20. So I think that's the concern (laughs) here. Um, Throw in the fact that Dawson Garcia is quite important for this handicap. Um, He's a big, he's almost seven foot. He can, I think, be dynamic against Zach Eady, maybe get him out of the perimeter a little bit more. So without my knowing of his status, I can't get involved here. Kyle Hunter, a thought, and what uh, you might have made that line uh, if you were doing it and or the total here. Purdue is at home. Uh, Thoughts on Purdue and Minnesota? Yeah, I was looking at Dawson Garcia's status. I mean, it says game time decision, lower body injury. I I think it's really hard. I mean, because he has, what, 17 points per game, 17.2 points per game, 6.6 rebounds per game. It's really hard to make a bet on a game when the go-to guy is a game time decision. Um, You know, I I could sit here and say, I love this, I love that, but I'd be lying to you guys. I'm just going to be honest and say, I I can't bet this game without knowing if Dawson Garcia is going to play. Now, Laying that many points with Purdue definitely worries me quite a bit. You know, Purdue has kind of goofed around in some of their games that they should have won by more points than they have, even had big leads, let those leads go away. I would want to bet Minnesota, if anything, in this game, but I don't want to bet Minnesota without knowing if Dawson Garcia is playing. So, uh, you know, as far as the total, I don't know what to do with the total. I think I made it a little bit higher, you know, a little bit higher than the market here on this one, but you know, do you really want to bet an over and have Darson Garcia maybe just not show up here uh, to play? Yep. You're going to feel pretty bad afterwards. So uh, I think we have to see if he's going to play in this one and maybe try to bet it live. And you may not know. He might warm up and then they decide not to start him and not to play him. You might not even know even in the warm up on that. Just Jeff, to put final this out, yeah, just to put this out there, I mean, from what I understand, he uh, took a shot in the uh, – Male area, as far as south of the border, yeah, as we that's, say. That, from what I heard, uh, they say he's, you know, it's a lot better at this point than than maybe Sunday. So my guess is he plays, but it's hard because he is very important to the handicap. The one issue also here is when you play Minnesota, you know, they kind of pack things in. They're a good defensive group, but the three point line is kind of wide open, and and Purdue is, you know, can get lethal from three. So. Um, You know, maybe your concern here is, does this kind of remind you a little bit of South Carolina last night? Maybe, kind of, maybe. It's a little higher, but Purdue can beat you up quick. Uh, They can put up 87, you know, 64 uh, quickly. So, yeah, something tells me they get beat tonight, Minnesota, and they get beat bad. All right. Uh, Again, his status, Garcia, the big man up in the air. Um, We gave you a lot of good discussion. Mackey Arena, Big Ten Network, 830 Eastern time tonight for Purdue and Minnesota.